came across this tweet mm -hmm. um, by Derek Moneyberg, right? Um, and it says, avoid replying when you are angry. You may regret your words. Avoid making promises when you're happiest. You may commit to standards you may not have the energy to uphold. Avoid making decisions when you're sad. You may underestimate your strength. I'll take that again one more time. Avoid replying when you're angry. You may regret your words. Avoid making promises when you're happiest. You may commit to standards you may not have the energy to uphold. Avoid making decisions when you're sad. You may underestimate your strength. Very interesting tweet. Mm -hmm. Very interesting line of thoughts by um, Derek Moneyberg. What do you think? I think that um, this is to motivate someone mm. this morning, right? It's Monday morning and yeah. to kick up this week. I mean, I, you might need something just yeah. to inspire. And this is one of the things yeah. that we should share for people to know. And I think there's a, a part of this, um, I, I feel like I should add mine. Okay. Which is <laughs> when you are angry, never make decisions because yeah. <laughs> that is that is like Actually, the key thing. Yeah. Because if you do not sit back to, you know, understand what is happening, understand the situation and you make hasty decisions, at the end of the day you're filled with regret yeah. because you probably might not have made that decision in your right um, mood, in your normal self, but because of that particular thing that happened, and you're not even willing to, you know, sit down and understand what exactly went wrong, yeah. or try to even examine if you were at fault or you were wrong, or there was something you didn't do right, even if there was something the other person didn't do right. I mean, there's nothing wrong in always giving a second chance, mm. okay? But if at the point of anger you decide to make, uh, you make any form of decision, mm. be sure yeah. that at the end of it, but some people have actually made decisions while they're angry and they ended up, they didn't actually regret it. Yeah. But it mm. might not work for you that way. So it is always advisable that when you're angry, if you need to drink water, drink water, relax, and try to examine the situation. Don't just make decisions mm. and say, okay, you know what? I am done. Mm. I am no longer trying to do this anymore. And this can actually even affect people around you yeah. when you make certain decisions because of how your emotions um, is just running everywhere. Yeah. So be yeah. careful not to make decisions when you're angry, even when you are in your happiest mood. Yeah, that's because, is also dangerous. Exactly. Actually. You make promises that at the end of the day, you just might not be able to fulfill. Mm -hmm. Or the promises that, that are not, not within your capacity. Mm -hmm. So it's always advisable that when you're very happy, be careful of the kind of promises mm -hmm. um, you make. I, I know a friend that whenever she's in a great mood, just go and meet her. That's the best time you can get anything from yeah. her because she would willingly give it to you yeah and some were like okay yeah i think she's in a great mood yeah. and people would take advantage of that and at every point in time you're at your happiest or you're at your peak level they would come at you and you know try to get everything from you and at the end of the day you realize that because you have promised you have to stretch yourself to you know meet up with that standard or meet up with the promise you've given. Meanwhile, you know that on a normal day, you probably might not have um, promised that particular thing. But because you were so happy, you were so excited, you felt like Father Christmas yeah. that day. Yeah. You know, um, I find anger to be very dangerous mm -hmm. because you <laughs> what is what's one of the things that for instance would be informing your decision when you're angry is actually vengeance. Mm -hmm. actually revenge yeah and revenge and you know vengeance is very selfish vengeance is very self-centered on the um situation that has happened before you know vengeance is is focused on on creating a balance that you that's really should not be your concern mm -hmm. <laughs> you know vengeance is so focused on creating it's not for vengeance is not focused on justice Actually, vengeance is focused on creating a balance that looks okay to you, as in this person hurt me, so I must hurt this person back. back. And be in whilst and in trying to hurt this person back, a lot of people exactly you will get hurt. Mm -hmm. Actually, actually, and a lot of people on the way will get hurt because you are not 
as in as I said, vengeance is very self-centered on the situation that has happened, not just mm -hmm. on the person or the people, the characters in this particular instance, but the situation that's happened before is trying to create a balance for mm -hmm. it. So that's why it's very dangerous. And that's why I agree, you know, with what you've just said about me about making decisions when you are angry. Mm -hmm. What what that that decision is being informed from a place of vengeance. And because of that, you are not getting the best actually exactly. out of that you know decision that you're making mm -hmm. you know even if it doesn't even have anything to do with that person that you've just fought with because you are angry there's still a vengeful feeling in mm -hmm. you and you need to water it down massively you know for instance myself when i need to make a decision when someone is asking me you know and these things can happen for instance someone's really putting pressure on you to make a decision mm -hmm. about you know about something maybe you know, a friend is, is, is putting pressure on you on confirming if you want to go on a vacation or something or like not. this. You know, it can just be anything trivial, something like mm -hmm. that, you know, and it, and it can also be things major in your career or in your job, right? And they are, they are putting pressure on you to answer now, answer now. And maybe in that instance, your emotions are all over the place. Maybe mm -hmm. you are a bit too angry, a bit too happy, you know. Um, what I do in situations like that is I'll say something like, okay, I think I can do it this, this way, but let me think about it and, and I'll get, get back, back to you. you. Mm -hmm. So there are no promises. So my always go-to is let me think about it and I will get back to you. If I don't get back to you, please call me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you understand? Mm -hmm. so, that it's, it's so that if maybe I forget or something, you call me, you remind me, and then I make a decision mm -hmm. when I'm, I'm feeling a lot better. So you don't essentially have to give, make a decision instantly if you are not feeling emotionally up to it whether you're a bit too sad a bit too angry a bit too happy you know what this what Derek goldberg is actually saying in this particular tweet is um balance and emotional intelligence you know we speak about ai emotional intelligence a lot on tea or coffee and i see i think it's it's been outplayed you know really in this tweet so let's just um have a look at the tweet one last time before we wrap up this conversation mm -hmm. so it says that Avoid replying when you're angry, you may regret your words. Avoid making promises when you're happiest, you may commit to standards, you may not have this energy to uphold. To uphold. And avoid making decisions when you're sad, you may underestimate, underestimate your, your strength. strength. These are three emotions that have been put on display here. Mm -hmm. Anger, um, happiness and sadness. sadness. These are very three, these are probably three of the most strongest emotions, mm -hmm. you know, or, they you know. probably go through every Exactly, day. exactly. Mm -hmm. They're the most three obvious emotions that a person can go through. And, you know, if these are the things that can, that, that can really shape or break a person's life, I think it's always, it pays that you pay attention to some of these things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, you know, as, as, as the writer said, avoid um, replying when you're angry and, you know, uh, just avoid, essentially water down whatever emotion you're feeling to a point of neutrality so that you are being objective with your decisions. Mm -hmm. All right, so that is our food for thoughts for you until your coffee this morning to just kickstart your Monday morning of um, this week. Um, but do not go anywhere. We have more interesting conversations coming up.